So despite all of the negative press surrounding Atlas, it's completely not what I expected. Hey guys, I'm Morphologist, and in this short video, I'm going to tell you guys what the game's all about and why I'm actually enjoying it. So what exactly is Atlas? It is a sort of MMO style survival game taking place back in the old pirate days. And what you do is you start off as just a guy with nothing on a island, a beginner's island, and you work your way up gathering materials to build a home and various crafting stations. You know, a typical thing you probably have seen before in other survival games, eventually getting to the point where you can actually build a ship. Now, ships come in different sizes from a little tiny uh, ship like what I'm driving right here, all the way up to massive multi-crew galleons with tons and tons of guns, like 75 guns on it. It's ridiculous. And I don't know too much about the end game just yet. I don't know too much about the entire thing just yet. But I do know enough to tell you that it's got me interested enough to continually go back into it and play it. Now, obviously, with every early access game I've ever played and probably you've ever played, it's always got its issues, and obviously this is no exception. The interface is kind of clunky. Things are unintuitive, and there are no tutorials to tell you exactly how to do things. But after you get the hang of the system and understand the way sailing and building works, how you need to farm different materials and what materials are required to build certain things, it starts to go a lot more smoothly and becomes a lot more fun than I think I first expected. Being able to build your own ship is pretty cool, but also being able to build your own trading outposts and piers and cities and different items that go along with them is pretty exciting. Like you can build your own faction up from the ground, start from nothing and have one of the biggest player cities on the map. And that is pretty darn cool. And this wouldn't be possible if not for the really good net coding, which leads me to one of the main reasons why I have been pulled into Atlas. You see, this game, unlike any other early access game I've played, actually has a pretty good working netcode. And that probably comes from the fact that they're using a lot of the components of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I won't go into the merits or controversy of them using a lot of that stuff from that other game and the fact that it's pretty close to a reskin of it. That's the, for a whole other video. All I'm going to say is that they had a really good base to work with, and so stuff just works in this early access game, allowing us to have a server right now, a test server, of over 100 people. And I don't want the term reskin to scare you. If you've never played Ark Survival Evolved, it's not going to matter to you at all that stuff kind of looks similar as that game, because there's no science fiction guns in this game. Everything sort of feels like it fits within the time frame that the game says it's in. So for me, since I never played that game, I'm completely unaffected by that negativity. Instead, I've been incredibly impressed by what you can build, like this massive galleon Armco has begun to construct in one of the biggest player cities that we have right now. Or starting your own little shop, like this guy here who started his own little smithy, where he butters for things by trading his goods for, I don't know, what you can find out in the world to make it so that he can actually make the things that you're buying. And that's a pretty cool idea. And there's also money in the game. I won't go too much into the, like, the, the deep... Uh, details of it. That'll be for another video, but there's enough here that you can stay busy for hours on end. In fact, Jack, I think, has already got nearly 100 hours into the game, which is kind of insane despite the fact it only just came out. It's a breath of fresh air, really, to be able to play a game despite its clunkiness that just has everything working. Maybe it doesn't work in the best way, it doesn't look the most amazing, but at least it works and you can immerse yourself in the experience without having to worry about something not yet having been added to the game. Aside from the game called Sea of Thieves, there really isn't anything comparable to it at the moment in this time frame. Sea of Thieves is great and it actually, I think, is it looks a lot more polished than Atlas, but it's got a really limited gameplay loop. And I found myself not wanting to go back after a little while just because I found myself doing the same things over and over again. And the limited player base that you could have on one server was also really... Uh, I don't know, it just felt like it was an empty world. Running around killing NPCs isn't as fun as joining together with hundreds of members of our community to construct ma amazing towns and cities and trading and battling with other factions in the world. 
Now before you go out and spend the $30 for this game on Steam, I really would highly suggest you go check out my Twitch channel, or Wasted's Twitch channel, or even Captain Shaq's Twitch channel when they stream Atlas, to get a better idea of how it plays and how it feels right now. Because it is an early access game, and there are some buggy annoying things about it. Obviously, survival games aren't for everybody. There's a lot of ways you can die in the game, from hunger, starvation, lack of certain vitamins, uh, a wolf attacking you while you're trying to gather supplies just to live out the next hour. And, well, it can be kind of frustrating, but personally, I found it relaxing and fun. If you hear all of this and you're like, I still want to play well, then I would highly suggest you guys join us on our Armco server if you guys want to be part of a huge community that likes to work together and uh, have pretty cool big events. The only way for you guys to join though is for you to join our Discord channel. That's how we filter out the trolls. So if you go on there, read the rules, you can get yourself the password to the server and get involved today. If you want to see me playing more of this game, all you have to do is head on over to my Twitch channel, which will be linked in the description below, where you can find some VODs of me playing these past few days. And of course, if you follow, you'll also be able to catch my next stream where I play the game. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and it was informative enough to at least to tell you guys if it's something that you might be more interested in checking out, something that you might, in fact, give a second chance despite all the negative press it's attracted. If you guys didn't like the video, well, you know what to do, and I hope to see all of you guys next time.